Now, having a campfire is one of the great joys of going out camping or caravanning, but how we put out that fire is incredibly important. Now, hands up if you've ever been guilty of putting out your fire just by using a few shovel loads of sand or soil. You wouldn't be the only one. But putting out your fire this way, you know, the coals will retain the heat of the fire for hours on end, and that's really dangerous, especially if kids happen to be around. So I'll get a couple of fires lit. I'm gonna put them both out, one using just a few shovel loads of soil, and the other one, I'll douse it properly with water, and then I'll use a thermometer to measure the difference in heat. And that will hopefully show why it's so important to put your fire out properly each and every time. So it's time to get a couple of fires lit and get cracking. Okay, so why is any of this important? Well, a first degree burn can occur on skin at 48 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, second degree burns can happen about 55 degrees, and third degree burns can occur at 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. Now, logic would tell us that uh, the severity of the burn would depend on the amount of exposure, or more precisely, the length of exposure to that extreme heat. But nonetheless, the point remains that high temperatures have the potential to cause serious damage. Now to make my point, I really don't think I need to make this fire any bigger or hotter than what it already is. We've got some nice coals going. In fact, it's the sort of fire that you might have when you're sitting around at the campsite having a few drinks with your friends. So I'm just gonna let the wood that's in both fires burn down to coals and then we'll extinguish both fires, one with water and the other with soil, and then measure the difference. So there we go, immediately after smothering this fire with some soil, we're still registering temperatures of up to 130 degrees Celsius. That is more than hot enough to do some serious damage to little feet or little fingers, or honestly anything that just happens to get a little bit too close. So I'm actually going to leave this fire now for about an hour and then re-measure the temperature, but I'm going to supervise, I'm gonna stick around to make sure nobody gets too close, but in the meantime, we'll go put out that other fire with some water. So I used about seven and a half litres worth of water to put out this fire, and we've seen a massive difference in temperature. While the temperature of the other fire remains extreme immediately after being smothered with just soil, this fire extinguished by water is well within safe temperatures. The surface of the wood, well, that was nice and safe, below 30 degrees, and I was even able to touch the surface of the wood. So we've conclusively shown that the only right way to put out a campfire is to use water. Don't use sand, don't use soil, get a bucket, fill it up with some water, and put your fire out properly. So it's been about an hour since I first smothered this fire with soil, and we're still seeing some extreme temperatures up to about 75 degrees Celsius, which is more than enough to do some serious damage. So there we go. If that doesn't prove why we need to use water to put out our campfires, then nothing will. There's only one thing left for me to do, and that is to scrape off some of this soil and put the fire out properly. <laughs> 